My name is Jessica Naloga Babuma. I am the acting coordinator of PDR. Uh, we abbreviated as COU, PDR, COU, Church of Uganda. PDR is a planning, development, and rehabilitation department. What we do in PDR is preaching the gospel, but from a practical aspect, in terms of making sure that the physical is taken care of, and then the gospel can ride on that. Because we think that preaching the gospel when people are hungry, when people don't have money, when people, are, you know, all sorts of things, it doesn't work well. The partnership we have with the Konya uh, Regional Office, we started in about 2006, and there we're talking at that time we were talking about, uh, we used to call it the Lake Victoria Libraries Program. And there we're talking about issues of social justice, we're talking about issues of, li of, of livelihoods, economic empowerment, we're talking about issues of HIV AIDS. I mean, I remember when we started with the, with the islands, uh, that, I mean, when we talk about HIV, for example, they didn't even understand what it is that we're talking about. Because to them, as far as they were concerned, the life on the lake was more hazardous than having HIV AIDS. So at, at first, actually, that's, they just dismissed us. They just uh, you guys, I think you, have, you can talk about better things than just HIV AIDS, you know, because for them they felt that why, why, why you worry about HIV AIDS when you could die in a flash when you're on the lake. That was the attitude then. That's where we started. When it comes to economic empowerment at that time, you know fishing people, they, they treat the, the, the lake as the, an, an ATM. You know, you know that you go in the evening and in the morning you'll have cash. And it is real, it's true. But they don't think about issues of sustainability of that. They don't think about how uh, the, the, how the, the lake itself would be endangered, how the fish could actually be depleted from the lake. So they don't, they don't think about that far. They just think about, I go to the lake, I fish, I get my fish, I sell them tomorrow and I'm good. I have my money. Then I can do whatever I want with that money. I went to come to issues of, 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 of justice. That was even worse. Because, because of, the, of, of the nature of the island. Uh, first of all, the people who go to the island to hide in the island. Because you know, they've done some you know, crimes or offenses on the mainland and then they go to the island because another one is going to call them out. So they hide there. And then sometimes if someone has committed a crime on this island, it just moves to the next island. And that they're, they're as good as you can find them because you're on another island. We used to have cases, very many cases, more so domestic violence. Domestic violence and assaults of, the, of that such a nature. And of course the, the rates of HIV AIDS was too much. Prostitution was just too much. Defilement is just, you know, all sorts of things would happen there. Because basically nobody cared. One of the things that we have been emphasizing during this period, or the three years period that we have been implementing, is the issue to do with advocacy. Uh, linking advocacy to sexual reproductive health and rights uh, components where we're looking at access uh, to health care, uh, uh, issues to do with uh, uh, HIV and AIDS, issues to do with early pregnancies uh, as the components of, of sexual reproductive health and rights. And also we have other components like access to justice uh, and another component which is doing the economic uh, empowerment. There's a lot that is being done. There's a lot that is, is going on in the community, and the community is uh, moving forward.
I'm Akram Kasa, the coordinator of Lake Victoria Rights Program in Tese Islands. Right now we are in Chibanga Primary School, one of the schools engaged in our program and uh, mainly in the component of sexual reproductive health. So we are looking about uh, the adolescent sexual reproductive health element, how the school has engaged in it. During the baselines we carried out, many issues came out like dropouts, early pregnancies, child abuse, all these came out from the baseline. So that because all these uh, challenges coming out of adolescent reproductive health, they are combined for both boys and girls. So in this element, as Lake Victoria's program, we engage the teachers, basically who are in the girl education movement and who are dealing in adolescent sexual reproductive health. We had trainings with them about adolescent education, sexual reproductive health, as a way of uh, uh, as a way of giving them knowledge and skills through advocacy, how they can be able to run and change the policies and maybe include even boys and try to overcome the challenges we, uh, we came up when we were doing the baseline. Um, children are being assisted um, in, in school here can be free to uh, report any problem whatsoever uh, and they may, may, may be sometimes uh, uh, to the police uh, if need be because sometimes some of these things may be addressed by uh, police straight up. Right now the reports from the school shows at least enrollment is good uh, they're talking about uh, dropout is low at least uh, and uh, they're saying early pregnancies are limited uh, and therefore when you look at uh, the advocacy aspect our in, in our model was looking first of all at developing that at the grassroots level where we now have the paralegals the paralegals have developed already uh, developed a, a, a kind of uh, a base where we can now uh, advance most of the advocacy issues and we only take those cases which we think that they are beyond our court. Before Paralegal came here, we used to have cases, very many cases. But when Paralegal came in, I can even finish two weeks or three weeks minus at least get, receiving a case. But has done a very good job to us. Cases have been minimized. I not may say not zero, but at least to a small extent. Most of the, uh, the aspects are now going through their own CBO, uh, which now is coming up to, to the SIPA. SIPA is a Sese Islands uh, Paralegal Association, which has now developed and uh, is now looking at how to advance these things through the various systems. With uh, this rights-based approach, uh, we have also come up with, because of the so many issues that are coming in from the communities, we have we requested uh, Uganda Human Rights Commission to open up an office in Kalangala and right now we have a branch they are moving around if you have any issue to do with infringement on the rights the office is just here so they can uh, come up and report their issues. Some of the achievements we have so far got uh, are to do with the, uh, the ability of creation, awareness creation uh, in terms of the grassroots, the people now are aware of their rights. Uh, there's a lot of access to information, uh, sharing. Uh, the, the project, the program has been able to provide on one of the islands a resource mobilization tool in form of a community radio. The communication system that we have received, it is very nice because we could oh, sometimes organize for our community policing and it is hard, you get just a few people who can attend, people are doing their own businesses. But through that communication, you can throw that information to each and everybody where he or, he or she is. So it has done a very good job to us. And I think police work is now being eased in, through that communication system that we have. Uh, another achievement that we have uh, achieved is uh, the issue of uh, generating demand from of the grassroots level. One of them is the Kitobo Primary School, which 
uh, has now got a, a 150 a capacity class classroom built because of demand from the community. The Paralegos through their structure and the beach management units who are part of the Paralegos uh, created uh, an opportunity to meet with the district and the Kalangala Infrastructure Services was able to look within the air funding uh, to build a, a classroom in the community. So that's what some, those are some of the achievements we are seeing with others also looking at access to justice uh, demand driven from uh, uh, the level of uh, information and awareness, especially on the youth who are able now to access uh, sexual reproductive health services from the health center, uh, the demand for information. So in other words, the Lake Victoria Rights Program has, uh, has, has created a change uh, in the communities and we appreciate the Akonia Sweden for being able to provide uh, such an opportunity for, for people in Kalangala.